Are there any tips that you can share? There's there's many, many tips. Oh, okay. I know, I know, How much time do we have? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Top of Mind. We are here at the FQ Lounge and I'm here with Nuno Tellis. Who, Hello, who is the president of Diageo Beer Company. Nuno, welcome to Top of Mind. Thank you, Nadine. It's a pleasure to be here. It is a pleasure to have yeah. you here as well. So I, I'm going to ask you right away, like, what, what is it that is most exciting to you right now? You probably saw a lot in the last couple of days. It's, a, it's an exciting uh, period for beer. Beer is uh, back to uh, growth. So we see a big phenomenon around products with lower calories, low carbs, uh, no sugar, and mm -hmm. that's exciting to us. Uh, so our Smirnoff the brand is on fire, growing uh, double digits, 20%, so with introduction of Celsius, as well as Smash, so a lot of innovation in the space of uh, better for you mm. But also our Guinness brand is doing quite well, so uh, oh. we are growing double digits with Guinness, uh, people are going back to the brands that they yeah. trust, so that's, that's a very exciting time to be at the IGV company and in beer overall. When you think about some of the new things coming down the pipe, what are you excited about for the future? We are striving for more, but I see unlimited potential in the future. How can we collectively have the right portfolio? What other brands can we launch? What other initiatives can we have under the brands we are doing? Also, leveraging data and technology. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's predictable analytics, like what can we do in order to anticipate future trends, um, the performance, how can we anticipate the challenges that we are going to have ahead and plan with time mm -hmm. how to address those. And we need to have people trained and capable of dealing with that new technology. So that's, that's something also that I'm very much eager to embrace in the near future. How long is it going to take you to do that? A couple weeks? <laughs> I need more, I would say. Give me some time. We are in New York, everything is quite stressful, but like, we will get there. Okay, like. alright, I'll give you a few more months. Uh, okay, well what challenges do you see ahead that we need to like overcome so we can get to that next point? I think the, the challenges are always how to continue to grow our, you know, the business overall. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's always a, the, the challenge. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, uh, you know, the majority of the companies are always struggling. Um, we are in a good place, so we don't want to uh, land in a in a period that we don't see any growth. So we want to stay ahead. So mm -hmm. that is very much uh, top of my mind. The other one is to create the environment mm -hmm. that makes people feel comfortable right. to be themselves. I think it's easier to say than to do and often we find ourselves in advocating a lot to have diversity and inclusion but not being an active uh, uh, you know, player. Those are like the challenges, how to make sure that we embed in our organizations that spirit of diversity and inclusion because that leads us to a much better place. Are there any tips that you can share for other marketers or brand presidents or CEOs or even you know anybody who's managing a team? There's, there's many, many tips. Oh, okay. I know, I How know much time do we have? <laughs> the first one is to um, dare to be exposed mm -hmm. to experiences that you kind of feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. because that is what will bring the best of you. I have a lot of conversations with my team about moving from the US to Europe to Asia to uh, you know like South America, you know Brazil, like dare to embrace a different reality. I mm. think uh, that gives people like the, 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 the much better scope and like broadens the, the, the perspective. Mm -hmm. So it's it's important to be exposed to an uncomfortable situation because that is what gets us into a, a bit much better leaders and embracing uh, you know the future in a much different way. So don't be afraid of you know travel work abroad, mm -hmm. um, change from marketing to sales, do supply, do finance, like really try to have different experiences because that is what will lead you to a much better place. I love that. Well, on that note, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Nadine. It is, it is always a pleasure. It is always a pleasure for sure. And thank you for joining us on Top of Mind.